Ghostly Fantasy here, and welcome to a brand new Roblox video. Before we go on, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to turn on the bell to be notified every time I upload, and also to be a part of the Phoenix Squad. Anyways, it's March, and Royal High released a new update. And check it out, everyone! The fountain in the Vinia, it's rainbow! Huh, it's pretty amazing. And also, the Black History Month for the Lunar New Year updates have been removed from the game. And as you follow me, you'll see right here where the Black History Month stuff used to be. It's just a little sitting area. It's all gone, so bye bye to that. And also, the Valentine's Day stuff has been removed. But it's okay, it's all okay, because with the March update, we get rain and you get a chance to get some exclusive items and items in shop, so it saves us from diamond farming. Hooray! So right now, I'm gonna go fly up and see if I get any good items from flying up there and seeing if I can find a rainbow. However, I don't know if you guys experience this problem, but for mobile players especially, for some weird reason, whenever I'm in Divinia Park, it gets a little bit hard for me to fly and move around. Probably because this place is so big and it sort of makes me lag a little bit whenever I try to fly. Unless you have the game pass, it'll be tricky for you to fly because you'll be super slow and everything. So what I recommend doing, basically, you need to get your avatar to, to jump and press it again at the right time so you can hover in the air. And then adjust the speed about to 100 or so. That way you can move about easily and the lag won't be a much of a problem. As you can see, I'm doing that right now. Da -da 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 -da. And moving is gonna be hard because as you can see, my ton joystick is moving up but I'm not moving myself. It takes a few seconds for it to respond properly. So yeah, that's what I do when I play on mobile set my speed up to a high number so that way I can move about a little bit more easier around Davinia that is. And wow, Davinia really is pretty nice from up above. So this is what you do. You wait up here for a few moments until it begins to rain. It usually takes a while so you'll be waiting for a while so I recommend you either watch something on YouTube or whatever you want to do because usually the rainfall comes every 15 minutes or so according to other players. So it is gonna be a bit of a wait. And so I'll come back to you guys after it starts raining. Okay guys, it's beginning to rain. It literally just started raining after I just stopped the recording. But yeah, this is what I do. I'm just gonna fly up here and wait till the rain stops and look around to see where the rainbow is. Because from my experience in gaming, I think it's safe to say that the rainbows just spawn randomly at different spots in the air. I have done this before prior, but I didn't really record it at this time. So yeah, the rainfall lasts for a few seconds, and then you gotta quickly find a rainbow before it despawns again. So this is just gonna be a little bit of a waiting game till the rain stops falling. And just like that, boom! The rainbow spawns in. So quickly fly over to the rainbow and try to find the cloud. Okay, once you find the cloud, you see the end of the rainbow inside a pot of gold and a lot of gold coins. And if you see these little clover orbs, touch one of them and you'll get a random prize. Just gotta keep on flying. And then, for me, it's the Mitch Matt socks, which I already have. So yes, be warned, you may end up getting duplicate items. But on the plus side, you get all these coins you get to collect and add up to your diamond farming score. So basically, you have a chance to either get an item from the shop that you haven't got yet, an item you've gotten before, or even the seven exclusive items that came from the update. So far, I already got like two of the items, so I still got a way to go. But yeah, that's basically it on how to get all these items. And also, you can only get one clover per rainfall because if you try to get any others, it'll give you a little bit of a notification saying that you already got a clover from this cloud. Saying that you should leave another clover for the others that haven't got any yet. Basically, it's a way to stop players from being greedy and getting more items than the others. 
All I can say to everyone else that are trying to get the exclusive items is good luck, because we're all going to need it. So yeah, that's basically how you get the new items, everyone. And with that said, I'm going to end the video here. See you guys!